Hey, Didier at Didier Mortgage. Thanks for tuning in and please feel free to subscribe to my videos. Very easy to do. Just subscribe and get them every week. But let's get down to business. What's going on in the mortgage business? Well, we're finding out that, you know, we're still having that pipeline being closed out from early March, late February, when the rates were very low. We're down the low threes, high twos, and that's just getting cleaned out right now. I think that in the weeks ahead of us in April, we should see re rates start to ease down. But what I'm noticing is on our purchases that uh, the lenders are making you pay an origination and there's not really much of a lender credit. So a little bit more costlier I'm seeing going on right now. A lot of lenders are not letting you lock in the loan anymore. Seems to be a lot of stuff going in the backgrounds with you know, shorting the MBS mortgage backed securities and what's being purchased. So it's throwing them all off. So I know there's some things going on over there. Uh, big stuff going on. So, you know, there's a little bit more of a charge, more of a cost, not being able to lock in till 15 days prior to closing. So these things are popping up. A lot of things that are affecting that are what? One, the appraiser. If the appraiser has to go to the home and someone's sick, they're like, I'm not going. So I've had that happen a couple of times. So I know they're trying to change it where there's drive-by appraisals or no appraisals to try to combat that. Uh, the other thing is trying to get insurance. You know, people working out of their homes are doing a great job at working on getting that. Then you've got your home inspector and you got the title company. And so everyone's working together, but pretty much everybody's working out of their home. So not only working out of their homes, they've got their kids there. They've got to go through all that and kids going, working, concentrating and having to work extra. So a lot of love and compassion for everyone that's out there making it happen. But our real appraisers, title, insurance, home inspectors, mortgage people are all working together to make things happen. One of the things that happened is non-QM loans. About a week and a half ago, non-QM went bye-bye. What are non-QM loans? Those are the loans that are bank statement loans, no doc loans on investment. You know, it's uh, higher interest rates. All of them went by the wayside and uh, some have shut down completely. But hopefully with the stimulus package, the money coming in, the hedge funds getting it, Maybe the program should be back, hopefully up and running, uh, but it'll be fewer, fewer players. And I just pray and hope that our lenders all make it because we've got such incredible lenders out there that are working hard and they have a lot of people. So hoping for that. But last little thing I want to say is we've been doing closings. Now, when you go to a closing, just note, only the people that are signing get to go in to see the title company or a mobile closer, like I have a closing at nine o'clock this morning, the mobile closers at their person's home. So they're not really having any traffic going in. I have two closings this afternoon where I'll go ahead and be in the parking lot of both of them. So I'm just there because it's the first time I'm getting to meet them. And I just wanna be able to say hello and answer any questions and know they got support. Even though I get to listen to the birds and be out in the parking lot, still being present and keeping the distance. So pretty good stuff. But we're all working together and just hoping and praying that this gets resolved, we get back to work, and we're in full force. A lot of things are happening that the delaying the closing is we have to do verifications. Verification of employment's right up to the day of closing because of job losses, they're checking on it. So you know maybe those closings of the 30 days are not gonna happen because of the variables of the appraiser, sickness going on, the title, uh, insurance, and then re-verifying to make sure that you are still employed the day of closing. So that's a big one. We used to do the phone call, but now it's a VOE and everything. So they're just backing it up, making sure everything's fine before we close on the home and we don't have any defaults. I went off a little bit longer on this one, but I just kind of wanted to share what was going on. But I do feel that the rates are going to be coming down, that we're going to get more stability, more great things will happen. And uh, we'll just stick together as a team, get you in your home and refinance you. Refinances on cash out on investors and on owner occupiers they're not so great right now. Uh, just note, so as time goes on, we have your names, we're gonna call you when the rates come down to the level that we've talked about, and we'll soon get you in, in loan application going and get you closed. And that won't be too long from now, hopefully. So Didier and Didier Mortgage, subscribe, join my channel, go to www.ddamortgage.com and see what we have on there. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we fight the battle and we will win.